Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint has two Cinnamon desktop. This is LMDE6. The other one is uh, 21.3 as of June 6th of 2024. Everybody's got a different favorite. It's not a big deal. Both Cinnamon desktops are great in my book. So this video is going to be geared mostly toward new users, but uh, anyone can probably benefit from some of the stuff I'll be talking about when it comes to workspaces. I'm going to be talking about uh, switchers, uh, app switcher, and workspaces today. So um, a user sent me an, an interesting email the other day. They were using more than one monitor on a single Linux distribution. In other words, I, I don't recall it was two or three, and he was having difficulty with one of them. And that could be anywhere from uh, you know the monitor itself, the graphic driver, uh, HDMI cables. There's a myriad of reasons maybe why there was, uh, that person was having problems. In general, most of your users out there use a single monitor. I do also. I use nothing but single monitors for all my Linux distributions. However, I can also use some extra real estate like this. So I have several things open currently. I have a web browser here with a search. So if I click in here, this I was looking for some glue on Amazon.com. I can also resize that on the fly so I can show you more glues. <laughs> and more importantly, I have another document sitting here with some other applications also open. So I have three applications open here, one here and one here. This is my YouTube site. So I'll be doing my cheap plug in a second. And more importantly, I'm going to talk about workspaces and how you can add even more. And then I'll talk about the app switcher, which does this kind of stuff. And you can uh, select different modes. Anyways, workspaces. Also, I'm going to talk about if you drag certain icons in between those workspaces and they duplicate themselves. Also, that is something to be aware of. So a little bit of everything today. Filming in 1920 by 1080. Welcome, folks. Do my cheap plug now. I'll come back to uh, this in a second. And I'll show you all about workspaces also. So um, Linux for seniors, if you'd like to subscribe, Linux is for any age, and I make mention of that in my mission statement. And I encourage any current subscriber and also new to read that. I have uh, 13 web links in here, and all of my videos are indexed. You don't have to scroll for these. You can click that magnifying glass here, not here, and use keywords, or unless you like to scroll, your choice. But I have uh, 100, uh, sorry, 368 videos on all kinds of tips. Don't forget about those links in there. So I'm going to switch gears and go back to Workspace 1. Workspace 1, these icons are minimized. So I'm going to use Alt and Tab to cycle through them, as you can see. So I'm going to start with not the file manager, and Mary's just a made-up name. I'm going to go back to Settings. So as a new user, you would click that. And this is mostly geared toward new users, but certainly anyone can benefit from this. I make mention of big fat scroll bars, different themes, and all kinds of this, that, and the other. So today I'm going to talk about Windows and workspaces. We're going to start with Windows. Now I have several things that are open, so I can do stuff like this. Okay. So I'm going to come back to that. So the Windows part here is found in Settings, whether you open Settings this way or you right-click and open up Settings this way. It doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to click this Open for Windows and go to the last tab called Alt Tab, no pun intended. This is where your switcher style is, and it is not normally CoverFlow. My two favorites are uh, CoverFlow 3D and Timeline 3D. This is CoverFlow cycling through what's open. You have to have usually more than two applications open to use this properly. And this is timeline. So it's just cycling through what I have open on this workspace. You can also do this on different workspaces. I'll talk about that in a minute. The default, I believe, is this one. So this is normally what you'll see. And this is plenty good for most. But if you want some fancy stuff, you can Pick these. Okay? That's all I'm going to say on that one. 
Alt and Tab. You press and hold your Alt key down and press the tab repeatedly if you got multiple apps open on this particular workspace. Okay, that's work Windows. Now I'm going to talk about workspaces. So what's a workspace? A workspace is this. Normally there is actually only four. So I'm going to eliminate these so you can see this. I can open up these things because I have them open currently. This has three applications. This one has one, one, and this one has four. My main workspace one is normally what you will have if you've never used this tool. Workspace two will just be your wallpaper or background and three and four are the same. I'm actually using these currently, as you can see. So in your workspaces, how do you get into that area? There are three keys, Control, Alt, and the upper arrow key. You should have some arrow keys on your keyboard that go up, down, left, and right. So start with holding down your Control key, hold down your Alt key, and press the upper arrow key on your keyboard to produce this. That will be def default of four of these. If you like, you can put names in these things. I normally don't. You can al alter the name, in other words. I'm going to hit Escape twice. Also, if you turn this off, this is on by default, which is Display Expo View as a Grid. Again, I'm in here. You turn that off, you get this effect. It's uh, just four in a row. You can certainly add more of these as you go. I'm going to delete them now. So workspaces can be something that kind of simulates having different monitors, if you want to call it that. So you can put different applications on these screens. So I'm going to turn this back into the standard default display expo view as a grid. Okay. And I'll probably toward the end of the video come back to this. So Alt, Control, Alt, and Arrow Up gives me four workspaces. And again, I have stuff open. I'm going to manipulate some icons now. I'm going to make six workspaces. First of all, you can see the wallpaper or background. If I decide on workspace one or this one to change the background to something different, I'll go with the Icelandic puffin for a second. Now you can see the Icelandic puffin took workspace five and six backgrounds. It doesn't display your panel bar. These are thumbnails of your workspaces. And, but it does tell you how many applications are currently open in each space. Three, three, one, one, none. Okay. I'll change the wallpaper back to Bulgaria and hit Control, Alt, and upper arrow keys. So let's talk a little bit about manipulation and I'm also going to give you some cautions because it does duplicate sometimes if you drop it in between uh, workspaces. So I'm going to grab the, uh, well, let's start with this calculator and throw it on six. And I'll take Linux for seniors and toss it on five and take this one and toss it on three. And then I'll move this calculator over to two. These are all just manipulations. So workspace two now contains something hidden, right? Alt and tab. Oh yeah, it's the calculator. That's hidden. That's not hidden. Control, Alt, Arrow. I'm going to take this other calculator and toss it in here also. So now I have two calculators. One is in financial mode, the other one's in basic mode. So there are so certain applications that you can open and, and do something like that with. All right, then there's other problems where you may end up with, um, so sometimes when you're typing documents, you wanna maybe uh, listen to some music at the same time. So this is called Rhythm Box, hamburger menu time. All right, it's a very popular player, I like it. Um, when you uh, put in some of your own, uh, Mary's just a made up name. When you uh, put in some albums in here and you open this for the first time, it'll auto-populate. Then you can create playlists. 
But more importantly, you can listen to it not only in this workspace, but also in the other six in this case. But there are sometimes when you want and you're thinking, you know, you forgot this is minimized and you're trying to open that on a different workspace. Let me show you what happens when you try that. I'll use two because it doesn't have a rhythm box. And I'm, I have the calculator thing. So I'm going to walk over and just find it manually. Okay, you can also use the keyword search. And then I want to click that. All of a sudden you see LibreOffice Writer. Why is that? Because it opened that on a different workspace. It opens that on workspace four because that was currently there. There's nothing on two there. Okay, I could do the same thing over here. So this is really meant as a one instance application on your workspaces because you can listen to music on all of them. So what would happen a lot of times, this happens occasionally, I'm going to try to duplicate it. And sometimes it's actually hard to duplicate this error. But more importantly, I'm going to actually try to duplicate it where it'll make multiple copies everywhere. And I got to do, do a, a kind of a weird effect on it. I don't know if you just saw what happened, but it just duplicated rhythm box on all the screens at the same time. That's an error. It's an error. It's not supposed to be like this. Okay, so more importantly, I'm going to try to eliminate this error. And sometimes this takes a little bit of trick to do this with. Let's try this over here. Bingo. I just eliminated all the boxes and now I have a single. Rhythm box is gone out of all these screens. It's still here on one screen only. So I'm going to move this back. Normally you want to cleanly just drop it on top of the window itself or the workspace instead of in between. There's a couple more icons that will do the same thing. Just be careful with these. I thought I'd show this as an example of what not to do. <laughs> so, and the weird effects you get. All right, so if I decide I have five work, sorry, six workspaces, I'll go to number six and I'll create a bunch of things here. So I got a file manager open, and again, Mary's just a made-up name if I didn't say so earlier. And um, yeah, I'll just leave the two here. So I have space six, five, four, and anyways, there's six of these. So I could drag this over here before actually deleting this, if I'm in the mood of deleting extra workspaces. However, just be aware when you delete them with open applications, they'll move to the adjacent one in this case, number five. So I'll have a total of three when I delete six. There you go, there's three of them. And if I delete number five, it'll move these three in, in with these. So it'll have a total of five on workspace four. And everything just resized itself because there's four workspaces now. One, two, three, four. And again, you could possibly if you want to get energetic and rename those. I normally do not. So there are five of these, one of these, one of these, two of those. All right, I'm going to split some of this up. So I will grab a hold of uh, text over here and we'll leave it at that. Now, I'm working on a document. I could open up a web browser because I'm doing some research on dogs, for instance, and I wanted to uh, paste some words from a web browser in here. So I could open up the browser here, but I'm going to do this slightly different. So do I want to use this one here? Um, this is, was this my Firefox? Let's see. All I'm doing is scrolling with my computer mouse, by the way, folks. That's another way of switching. And uh, I'll leave the glue up. This is the one with the wood glue on it. Let's create a sec uh, number five. And uh, we'll open five and open up a web browser. So, um, yeah, that's just some commercial stuff. And I'll just search for dogs or dog or dogs. Oh, he's a cutie. So um, I can resize that on the fly. If you haven't seen any of my videos, what I'm doing here is holding down the control key while scrolling up and down with my computer mouse scroll wheel. I don't like touchpads. And for you folks that do have laptops, you can get inexpensive computer mice wired or wireless. And they work great in my book. But I don't like touchpads. All right, even on my laptop, I have Linux on it. I don't like touchpads. Anyways, I'm going to copy this text. 
highlight it with your mouse and copy. What am I doing here? I'm just showing you some different ways to think about things. So I'm going to click this uh, number two. Now I'm on five right now. I'm going to click two and this is already open. And then I can hit paste. What's another way of hit and paste? Control V. Okay. I'll hit uh, Control Z to undo that. And um, the paste is Control V. So I'll just click it. Most people are not really super into keyboard shortcuts, but there you have it. I just copied some text from a different workspace into that one. So what if I decided I want uh, the web browser with the dog on it over here? Then drag the whole thing and drop it inside the box. Keep in mind, don't try to drop it in between. Now I just moved workspace five over here and I have three things. Alt and tab will tell me that what I have in here. That's how I can cycle through these. Okay. So I will do Control, Alt, and that, and then I'll eliminate Workspace 5. Or if I wanted to add more stuff, I can continue going. And again, it takes on the wallpaper background, whatever you currently have. So if, I, if you can see Bulgaria here, I will just click on this Workspace 5 and change the background again to, uh, let's say, Corsica and hit Control, Alt, and Arrow, and it takes on the same. So if I wanted to uh, split some of this up, I'll put that over here, and uh, File Manager over here. How many of these are over here? I'll put Doggy back on number seven. So you can see you can manipulate this kind of stuff rather easily. Okay, Escape key, whatever you're currently on. 368 videos, all kinds of things. Go to Workspace 1. How, ma how, ma how many applications are currently open? Well, if you can't see my panel bar, I can use Alt and Tab. I have two things, Simple Screen and a File Manager. Alt and F4 is another thing you can use to close down things, unless your F4 is pre-assigned like on a laptop. Sometimes they are. Then you can use the conventional X in the corner. And um, anyways, so what happens when I eliminate number seven? Uh, doggy will go over to six because it's open currently. And if I eliminate six, Doggy and the file manager goes over to five to keep my uh, Linux for seniors company. So now I got three icons, sorry, three applications open. So if I wanted to split this up, workspace one is not so busy. I'll grab the uh, calculator and throw that in here. And uh, I'll also do the web, I'm sorry, the file manager. When you point to these little icons, sometimes it'll actually tell you a bubble around these things. Uh, you can see the blue bubble come up. Okay, so the file manager uh, just says home on it. So I'm going to drag that over to workspace one. And I'm going to do this cleanly right in between them. So I don't put them in between these workspaces. I've got three things open and you can see them. Again, Mary's just a made up name. Financial cal uh, calculator here. I think I had a couple more open that are regular ones. Yeah, this one here is a basic. Some value in this, maybe it's not to some, maybe to others. All right, again, I'm gonna move these two over to, to number four. So it creates a bigger space in here. I got three things here, two things, three things, one thing. You can still just click in the space and create more tabs if you like. That's not a problem. These will also resize independently, 160. And this one's at 100%, and now it's 70. That's 160. I'm talking about the percentages, if you're not aware of this. Okay. In either case, going back to number one, thank you for watching.